And welcome back. This is Polar Scuba with more bonus episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm joined, as always, by my blatantly cheating squad of Ronaldo, Petra, Stefan, and Arnold. When we last left off, I had played the game for much longer than the 20 seconds that the timer shows. I have reset the timer using a cheat code, and we are back here in, what's the name of this area? Gate to Space in Memoria, because over on the right side here, you can find something, huh? There's something written here. To Brother Gil. Bro, I found the sword like you told me. But there were two. One of them had a lame name. Something too. It was a dingy old thing with flashy decorations. Something you'd probably like. So I went with Excalipur. I'll be back after I find the tin armor. This is written by Enkido? I have always seen it Enkidu. Either way, uh, this is a letter from Enkido, I guess, to Gilgamesh. Uh, this is, of course, a reference to the mythological tale, the Epic of Gilgamesh, in which uh, Gilgamesh and Enkidu are best friends, or I guess Enkido. Either way, though, by getting here in less than 12 hours, thanks to a cheat code, we do get Excalibur 2, the best weapon in the game, at least in terms of physical attack, which is really all I care about when it comes to weapons in this game. So let's take a look at it. It is better than the Ragnarok, as I'm sure you might imagine. We already have the Excalibur 1. It's not as good as the Ragnarok, but as you might expect, the Excalibur 2 also goes on Arnold, and it does increase his attack power by 21 over his next best weapon. So Excalibur 2, best weapon in the game. That does make it stronger than... Ronaldo's 108% stronger, but still stronger. Uh, you would still kind of expect more, at least I would kind of expect more out of that attack, but there you have it. Arnold is now our best physical attacker, even though Ronaldo is a lot faster and can probably do more damage over time. In terms of physical attacks, it's all about Arnold now. And physical defense is finally the tank he was meant to be. But once again, you have to get here in less than 12 hours, which is very difficult to do, and I've never even attempted a run for more than about an hour before I gave up on it and decided it was not worth it. But thanks to cheat codes, I was able to get it. So that is the last piece of equipment that is, well, I would say important, but really it's just new in Final Fantasy IX, that is everything. So, I have a couple more bosses to take on. I will show them off. I did take on the Lich, obviously, otherwise I would not have been able to do that, but Death Guys still await. I'm going to take him on, and then we'll start doing some other things as well. And it's boss time again. This time it's not going to be a surprise for us. We are up against Death Guys. Very similar to Death Gaze from Final Fantasy VI, but a little different, definitely. The guy looks creepy as all hell. He's got, what, like eight arms? I swear this is the last one I'm going to steal in. After this, we are done. He starts off with a meteor. That's never a good sign. I do have auto life on everybody. I'm hoping that everybody can live through it, though. They do. I do have Lexi with us because Lexi needs some air time. I don't have anybody to cast auto life on people once that is gone, unfortunately. But like I said, this is the last one that we are going to be going for steals at all. After this, we are done. There is nothing important for me to steal, even from this guy, but definitely not from Kuja. Kuja has like surprisingly bad steals considering he's not, well, the final boss, but you think he is when you get here. You know, at least the first time you do. Alright, can you uh, go ahead and start stealing? Well, damn it, Ronaldo. I'm trying to get the steals off. It, that's like the only thing that ever holds me back here, is getting steals. Otherwise, these are maybe like one minute fights, I swear. 
they go really quick. And I'll get a chance to show that off in, with, with Kuja, and then of course Necron at the end. Level 5 death, that doesn't hit anybody, we're all level 9. Luckily there's no level 100 in this game, otherwise level 5 death would be devastating. They do think that kind of stuff through. There's a reason there's no level 3 anything, you know? Or at least level, nothing level 3 devastating. That the enemies Regular death, we'll see if that hits. It does not. That was your one chance. That's the only thing you've got, death guys, is just a flat death spell. All right, I'll probably need to heal after that. Nope, we're fine. Damn it, Ronaldo. Everybody's just waiting for you so that we can charge in and absolutely destroy this guy. I might not even need to use abilities. I might just go for regular attacks here and win. Honestly, at the rate we're going, it's probably only gonna take about 10 actual attacks in order to finish this guy off. All right, he's open now. He, he matter. <laughs> not at this stage. He does have less defense when he's open. And then he does have a different move set, but uh, ultimately it doesn't really matter. Just like getting dying on Ronaldo at this point. I have max thievery. Your trance is no longer important. Or, you know, having... There we go, dual claws. I think that's the last one, but, you know, I'm gonna check. We're gonna waste a turn with a trance. Just making sure you don't have anything else. And we get a trance from Lexi. All right, we shut off our last time. We'll see if there's something else I can't show off here. It doesn't have anything. All right. Uh, let's go for Bahamut. I don't think we've seen Bahamut actually used. We will definitely show that. All right, we'll just go for regular attacks, uh, a jump, and then um, Grand Lethal. Why not? Are you kidding me, Lexi? Oh, what is the point of you? All right, up in the air. There we go. All right, Idol on the end. Uh, let's go for Leviathan. I don't have o Odin's sword on, so I'm not going to bother using Odin. We'll just go down the line and, you know, whatever looks good at the time. We'll go for that. Um, jeez. Haven't we seen? Did we see a shift break? Let's go for that. Flare. Didn't I go? Uh, yeah, no, it's not Didn't I go for Leviathan? All right, we got another Mega Flare in. Good for you there. We need to get to see what the is thanks to this. Sometimes we get a little bit further. I'll try to show that. More jump, though. Leviathan in these games, or at least in the later uh, games that we have done so far, and another tsunami for good measure. Why not? But Leviathan, honestly, usually is not that strong considering, you know? And down goes Death Guys. Yeah, how did they beat Death Guys? Quite handily, actually. And uh, yes, I think I can beat you. Well, technically not, but you know, the plot wins that one. But I could do it. If you didn't use ultimate. And we have reached the point of no return in the game. So I am going to back off. Oh, apparently I still need money. Uh, and I'm gonna do something that I've been meaning to do since the beginning of the game. 
I am going to actually reload and start a new game and I'm going to do the sword fighting sequence perfectly. It's probably going to take me a couple tries and I'm going to be quiet while I attempt it so that I can concentrate. So let's show that off. Like I said, I am going to back out of here uh, so that I can uh, prepare for other things. And once again, starting from scratch, going to do the sword fighting technique, going to get that perfect. It takes some practice though, so probably take me a few times. All right, let's see how we do here. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's see if we got it. I've already gotten 99 ones. Let's see if I got the full 100 this time. It was a little faster. There we go. Of 100 nobles watching, 100 were impressed. It is indeed possible. Queen Braun was quite impressed. Damn right. Hell no, I'm not doing that again. They, they get the one shot at it. You're not gonna get too much better than that. I'm not at, unless I start like abusing emulation in order to slow down the game. Nope, that was good. 10,000 gil. You get that if you get 100 all the way through. All right, I will meet you when uh, Queen Braun gives, gives our reward for such good work for our performance, which she gives to Arnold for whatever reason. With a perfect performance under our belt, we can return to Queen Braun and she will give us a Moonstone, the best prize that you can get for that little performance. Very nice accessory, not usable for a while if you get it, but at least you have it. With all of this done, it's finally time for me to start giving me showcase videos. So. I'm going to change the graphic settings, make it a little bit uh, lower so that the actual summons and magic all look proper. Uh, and then I will show off everything that I can find in the game. And then we will take on the final bosses. And then there's one more thing to do after that, and then we will be done with the bonus videos. Hope you look forward to it. I've been Mom Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by a level one Arnold. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.